How does a free wedding planner compare to a $5,000 professional full service wedding planner? Let's talk about it. My name is Katie Slaughter. I'm a wedding planner and I have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below if that is your thing if you are not and you're just here for the comparison uh by all means join us don't forget to buy that like button's favorite present because it's its birthday today by the way uh, give it a thumbs up and give a little extra love into that subscribe but keep it pg for me as always okay so free wedding planning let's talk about the good how you can actually do it and also what is bad about it why you might want to reconsider so a free wedding planner would probably be either you maybe your mom a maid of honor or maybe it's like your fun gay uncle i don't know i don't care but there are good things about that right for one you probably trust and love them so that is a huge plus right like you probably don't think that they're going to scam you. They're, it's also free, um, which is a huge plus because weddings are expensive and I'm aware of that as a wedding planner. And not everyone can trade money for time. A lot of people have to trade time for money. It's probably the vast majority of people. And also, um, if you're me, if you're at all like me, you'll think wedding planning is fun. So that is a plus. That could be a plus. Maybe you won't feel that way. So some of the tools that I would recommend for someone who wants to plan their wedding for free, Google Sheets. Google Sheets is gonna be your best friend when it comes to like budgets and keeping track of your guest list and what their dietary restrictions are and what their addresses are. That's gonna be your best friend for that. It can also help you like navigate what you've already spent. I definitely recommend Google Sheets because it's free. It is a bit of work to set it up though. So just keep that in mind. ChatGPT is another great resource because it can help you figure out what you need to plan next. It can also help you come up with ideas and word your invitations and your stationery and your signs so that it's pretty clever like it can help you come up with cute names for like your signature drinks or whatever it is you're going to use it for you can also kind of consult chat gpt when you have wedding drama and be like hey how should i tackle this situation with my family or friend or 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 wedding party, whoever is causing the drama, just so that you don't lose that relationship. Reddit r slash wedding planning can really help you with that drama too for free. That's great. It's a good resource. You can also use Canva for actually designing your stationery. I use Canva for like almost everything in my business and it's free to use. Um, you don't need to use the pro plan to actually like enjoy all of Canva. And it's, I found it very intuitive. It had very little learning curve for me. You can also go for Prism, that's Prism with two Ms to help you make a layout. Like it's not free if you wanted to do more than five events, but uh, since you're probably only planning your one wedding, you can do your entire layout for free on Prism and it can let you see like what the room would look like in three dimensions. It's a pretty cool, unique tool that I actually use in my own business to help visualize layouts and things like that. Another free resource to you would just be to talk to the vendors that you did hire. So if you hired like a photographer, be like, hey, so can you help me figure out where you should actually show up in my timeline? And they can help you like uh, with at least their components of the timeline to help you figure out when things need to start happening. For the planning timeline, I do recommend my free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. It has everything, including when you should buy your your cake topper like it's gonna really help you there <laughs> so some of the downfalls in planning it yourself or by your mom or your cool gay uncle i really don't care who it's going to be the first time planning event like this and maybe you've helped they have helped plan like your siblings of weddings but it's just not the same thing um a wedding planner really knows the full ecosystem of all of the vendors that are happening so there can be a lot of things that are unforeseen since every wedding is unique this can be a real challenge for like a family member or a friend who has a full-time job and they're just it's it can be a lot of pressure on them and also because it takes so much time it takes a lot of time so minted conducted a study in 2022 that basically showed that the average couple spends about 528 hours or 22 consecutive days planning their wedding now i actually could not find this study if uh, so so take it a little bit with a grain of salt because to me even that sounds like a lot i would have probably guessed more like 300 hours um, but i think it depends on the complexity of the event that you're planning as well so if someone can please find that study i would actually be interested in reading it i found 
found it all over like the Independent and USA Today and like reasonably credible sources, but I'm not sure where the actual study is. I couldn't find it on Minted. So like, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but it does take a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. Um, that I can say with absolute assurance. Another thing to note is that ChatGPT can't replace a boots on the ground person. So a person is going to make it much more tailored. They're actually going to be there to set up and set out all of your decor and your individual items and help you assemble things at the end of the day. ChatGPT can also create unrealistic expectations. I have an entire video, check it out up here, where I go into how ChatGPT can ruin your wedding. It's it, there's some things that maybe so, so great. So like you can get scammed also by certain like budget, budget friendly um, photographers, videographers, things along those lines. So you have to be really careful about that. Another downfall of planning the wedding yourself or with the help of someone else, especially when you have the help of someone else, is that it opens it up to drama because different people have different expectations of what the wedding actually will be. And you might be like, oh, I really love these colors. And your bridesmaid be, might be like, I hate orange. Never put me in orange, which is, you know, I, I mean, I could see how some people would feel that way, but it's also like, it's none of their business what you choose for your wedding. It's your day. <laughs> so you can open up like certain drama just by having those people be part of the planning. Another aspect is that there's just a lot of emails that you have to send. There are so many vendors and people to communicate with that if you aren't organized, it can be a really, really challenging thing to remember. Oh, right. I also have to like meet with my officiant. So like these are things that you're efficient if it's a good vendor they would be like hey reaching out to you specifically but when it comes to like the planning and the timeline itself for the day of they're all going to be asking what your timeline is and they need to know exactly when they're showing up so let's move on to a five thousand dollar wedding planner so what is good about it right saves you a ton of time saves you so much time okay on research emails calls of the whole shebang. They design everything for you. They're also a good reassurance that your day of will go well. Wedding planners are like the secret behind having a successful wedding. They are your secret weapon. Someone with a solid contract will have a backup plan. Always look for that when you read a contract. So a wedding planner will definitely have a backup plan if they got like run over by a bus. So someone would be able to step in while they're in the hospital, for instance. They, they'll know someone who's a wedding manager who can help set up. And that's something that like a good wedding planner will always have just in case of an emergency. So that person will always be there for you. And they'll make sure that like your mom doesn't have to participate in doing stuff and doesn't have to be stressed. It's a really wonderful gift to your family. But that doesn't necessarily, that falls under the umbrella of a full service wedding planner, but you can get those benefits just by having a wedding manager or a wedding coordinator. Those two things are the same. Your wedding planner is going to care about all of the little minute details too, to have really like things you might not have necessarily thought about, like your rain plan or who's taking out the trash. It's things like that. These are small details, like where are you getting ready? How far away is your getting ready space from your venue? Things like that. They'll be really like nitpicky about all of those details and organized, which reduce all of the stress on you for all of those kinds of aspects. They also have like this deep understanding of the entire ecosystem, which is very helpful because it is an ecosystem. Like the wedding, you take out one piece and a lot of it can fall down. So you, it's really helpful to have that one person who keeps the ecosystem together. They also add in creativity and design that maybe if you're a busy person or you're not a very creative person that can really help you out and they can take like your general ideas and your vision and be like oh you want a lord of the rings inspired wedding we're gonna get you a good harpist who can get a good jam in here who knows how to do lord of the rings music that's a very specific example but like things like that they'll help design the lighting the sound the everything around you even outside of just the physical appearance. A full service wedding planner also sets out all of the decor that other vendors don't touch. So it'll be like your signs and your card box, your guest book, like all the cards and stuff and where they're located, all the little signs like your signature drink sign and things like that. So they will help set up 
all of that. They also manage all of your vendors and make sure that they know exactly where they need to be and give them all of their cues so that everything plays and flows seamlessly. It is an experience working with a wedding planner because it's it's a good wedding planner you won't even know that there's a problem happening. I have like a whole, a whole video on that. And not only do they manage vendors on the day of when they're having a lot of questions, it's surprising how many questions vendors have on the day of. It's like, I sent you the timeline, man. But anyway, they, they also manage your vendors and email them and call them and set all that stuff up right beforehand too. So like, throughout the entire planning process, we're talking to your vendors without you even having to. A full service planner often also handles and manages RSVPs and designs and handles your wedding website with your input, of course. There's always input, but a lot of people like just don't wanna handle it at all and will be like, okay, well, this is your color palette. This is what we can make for you and just do that. They will also usually make a hotel block for you. And um, like I do that in my own business, I do hotel block service um, where I go to like several I'll go up to like 10 hotels and be like what is the deal deal that you can get me and can you make it even better for my guests so like that's something that I take the time to go do for you which is just like a nice thing it doesn't take very long to set up a hotel block but like it's it's nice to have someone in your wheelhouse who's going to all of them and making sure that your guests get the best deals some wedding planners can also be travel agents this isn't like super common but it can happen all wedding planners though do do their personalized research and give you personalized recommendations based on your theme and colors and style and how you are as a person and all of us guide you through rehearsal and read all of the contracts that come through this is important because we know what should be on a contract and what makes a good contract and if it's not solid that can be a red flag i have a whole video actually about scammers who can have like these weird contracts that are not legitimate and you have to be very careful about that. And then finally, wedding planners are always prepared with emergency kits. So there is like a lot that a wedding planner does that isn't always super obvious, but it can be a lot on your big day to be like, oh my God, Someone just spilled a uh, blue frosting from a cupcake on my wedding dress. Real story, by the way. And um, hey, stain remover, hi, that's me. I have your stain remover and it's resolved. Like it's kind of a miracle sometimes. I'm like, I don't know how that just happened, but it worked. I, it's, it's gone now. This is great, okay? <laughs> Can't promise anything, but like, that was amazing. So whether you are looking for a wedding planner or a wedding coordinator, I highly recommend a coordinator at a minimum, often called a wedding manager nowadays, highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend it because they will have that emergency preparedness and just make everything smooth. So it's so much better if you can. I understand not everyone can trade money for time, however. So I hope that this video really helped equip you better. And if you are interested in having a free wedding planning timeline, check out the one linked below. I hope that you find some of these other videos helpful for me.